Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for even clicking on this video, Sophie Society. Um, yeah, today I'm going to be doing something a little different, but something that I really enjoy watching on YouTube, which is just a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm about to get ready to go to work in a minute, and I thought I would just get ready on camera and talk about a few topics that's been getting under my skin, getting on my nerves. It just hits home for me. So if you guys want to, if you guys are interested in watching this whole video, keep on watching. For makeup, I don't like, I do enjoy makeup, but I don't wear makeup every day. And also, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup. I just like to look cute and put together. Like, cute. Oh, she cute. Like, ooh, okay, I see that lash. Okay, wing, I see you. You know, but not too, too crazy. So, like I said, I'm just going to work, so it's not a big deal. So, first, I'm just going to spray a little bit of this on my face. Just because um, it's literally just water, but I just want to... Sometimes if I feel a little dry, I'll spray a little on there. So I'm going to be talking about colorism um, within the black community just because for some reason, people are going crazy. It's been an issue. Like we already have the ops coming after us. And now it's people in the, within our own community. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, like I said, first off, we're going to take it first. Recently, I know y'all have been on the shade room. Lil Duval, the comedian, talking about, um, I'm going to go with some vitamin C face serum. But yeah, Lil Duval, the comedian, talking about he prefers his women or his black women to have straight hair. He don't like that nappy afro stuff. I just had to look at the screen as if he was looking at me. Are you serious? It's okay for people to have their preference. I get that, because now I'm just like the big thing. That's what I prefer, not, not preference. Like, but you're saying you prefer, or you you don't like that nappy afro stuff, as if that's not what naturally grows out of your head too, and our head. I don't understand, because not too long ago, tell me if I'm wrong, 99 in the 2000s, when I was just a tiny, tiny child, women black women always wore these 18 inch yakky weave brazilian hair sew ins glue ins back then a quick weave always wearing weave because first off i hate to get too 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 you know deep into this topic but we are used to conforming ourselves to the European standards because we've been basically, basically brainwashed to think that European standards are the epitome of beauty. And I have a shirt that says just that. But we have been basically brainwashed. Like, this is going way back, but since we were brought over here forcefully, might I add, if y'all, you know, for the ones who sleep, we have been manipulated and forced into believing other people's definition of multiple things you know religion I don't want to get too deep but religion spirituality beauty which is what I'm talking about like you saying you don't want somebody who has nappy afro hair which is crazy because that's who we are that's what grows out of our head now to each his own I do love me a good old sewing you know 22 inch hanging down every now and then as well my mom and my sister they wear weave all the time but they're not doing it simply because they don't like their natural hair. They just don't really have time to do it. I take the time to embrace and wear my hair because I like it. But I also do like the straight hair looks. But for you to say you don't like it as if you're disgusted by it. When I saw that picture of your photo ID right here, when you had an afro, what was that in your head? Exactly. It's just driving me crazy y'all driving me crazy it's within the our own community and he already knew when he made that statement that that was going to cause a lot of controversy he already knew it's going to have these us women talking riled up brave like you can't just say stuff like that because for so long like i said we've been you know just forced almost to want to look and fit in with what's norm what's the norm what's what we're used to seeing what's glorified and you know as beauty and now the time has come to where black women, we are really, really, really embracing our natural beauty. We're wearing our real hair. We're, you know, really loving who we are and appreciating who we are and what we have. And then here you go, want to tear us down and make us feel bad for how we are naturally, how we're born. Come on now, are you stupid? 
Do you have kids? I don't think so. Because guess what? I'm sure your baby's black with nappy hair too. Y'all, I'm going to do my eyebrows and then I'm going to come right back. So this video isn't too long. Okay, guys. So I did my eyebrows. This is how they look. Now I'm just going to blend that concealer out under. But if you're interested, I use the um, it's Rimmel London eyebrow, professional eyebrow pencil in black brown. It's just cheap. Whatever. It's a job done for me. But yeah, let's get back into this topic. Now, y'all, I'm so disappointed because I really did love Chris Brown. Like everything that he's did, like I just love Chris Brown. He's, he's a great performer and entertainer, period. Like I think he's really one of the greats for real, not joking. Like in a category with Beyonce, Michael Jackson type stuff. Call me crazy if you want, but I just think he's so talented. And I've been riding for Chris Brown for so long. And what really just, t and we've literally just swept a lot of things that he said or done under the, under the rug because of his talents and his music and all that. But this time he has just pushed me over the edge. So literally when his freaking songs come on in my car, I turn to the next song. If it's playing on the radio, I turn to the next station. Because I'm just highly disappointed. Like, I understand Chris Brown. You know how, like, when, like, say Lil Duval, he's black, so, and they make comments about black women and all that stuff. And most people always say, your mama black or your kid's black. Chris Brown, his mom isn't. I think his mom is, like, mixed or something, so he doesn't thoroughly understand or know, like, the depths of what black women do or go through or how they conform in beauty and all that kinds of stuff. His child is mixed. So I don't know if that, and that does not make no excuse for him, trust me, because like I said, I didn't cut him off. But I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm gonna take my Morphe, I think this is a 350M palette, and um, just find some transition shades for my eyes. So yeah, lately, what was it in one of Chris Brown's recent songs from his new album, um, which obviously people are still rocking with him, because I think he has like, the number top five album in the country or the world, something like that, whatever. Yeah, and one of his songs, he said something about he want his girl, what do you say? With good hair. Of course, people took that and ran with it. Now, I will say this, because for some reason, I have this bad habit of always trying to play the devil's advocate. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. But now, I will say, he could have been saying like, good as in well maintenance well taken care of now we as the consumer we could have just taken it as we basically took offense to it like an insecure thing what's good hair what you mean good hair like curly hair like you know naturally laid baby hairs or straight hair whatever mixed girl hair as people say because you know, a lot of times in the black, in the natural hair community, when people say good hair, they think of a looser curl pattern. They think of, like I said, naturally laid edges. You know, they don't really think of a tighter curl pattern, a Z curl pattern. So we automatically took offense and was like, what you mean black girl with good hair? You're cut off. You're cut off. You're cut off. And then when Tokyo from Love and Hip Hop, the My Best Friend song girl, said what she said about her friends who are of darker complexion. They was in the club with Chris Brown and he wouldn't even let them in their, in his section, in his little VIP section of the club, but he wanted all like the bad girls around him, you know, but he didn't want no, no darkies allowed, what's the term used? No darkies allowed. No dark. See, that's what really pissed me off. Because I don't really care about what he said in the song. I don't care. But that part, because to me, I took it super offensive. Because to me, it's like he's saying, I don't want you near me. I don't want to be seen in a picture with you because you're going to throw off my look. You're going to throw off my image. You're going to mess my picture up. No dark is allowed. That just hit me some kind of way. I don't know what it was, what it did to my spirit. But that threw me all the way off. Because, what do you mean no darkies lot, no darkies in your section, you can't get past the rope? Excuse me? Are we back in plantation days? The brown paper bag test? Like, are you joking? It's 2020. And this is what we're doing? 
Chris Brown, are you serious? Majority of your supporters and fans are black women of darker skin complexions that have rolled for you and we should have cut you off with the Rihanna thing, but we didn't. We kept buying your little funky music and watching you imitate Chris Brown. I mean, Michael Jackson. I just, that's so wrong. Why do people do that? Why does it always have to be a division within our community? Why can't it just be, we're all black, we're all of the same, you know? Why ain't gotta be all that? Hey. So guess what? I had to cut him off. I had to let him go. I feel bad, cause I really do love him, but I had to let Chris go. And I wish his daughter was fully black. I wish she was. I mean, she's a cute girl, don't get me wrong. But I wish she was, just so when she grows up, he has more understanding of it. Like I said, all the women around him, they ain't, they're not, they barely black, okay? So, he doesn't really understand. I just don't like that. Come on. So guys, a trick that I do, and I've been doing this for a while now, I used to do concealer like, under my brows and at the top of my brows to really clean them up, but I don't do that anymore just because um, it makes my brows look a little too like dramatic or too fake. So I literally get some alcohol in a spray bottle, put it on a Q-tip, and I go, and I go on the top of my brows. I think there was concealer on here, but I just clean them up like this. Just because it makes them look a wee bit more natural to me. I like the way they look. And if they still look really nice and neat and good, I just, they're not as dramatic. And then also, once again, this is all preference stuff, you know. All Chris Brown's girlfriends, girls he talked to, girls he's seen with, they're all light, mixed. Which, you know, you have your preference. You will give him a little leeway with Rihanna, but that was a long time ago. Obviously, he has changed. There's nothing that's wrong with that. Do you? I know. It's hard, y'all. It's hard. Okay, while wow, he over here talking about no darkies in his section or all that stuff, he doing a song with Drake who I think he loves and appreciates all women of all tones, okay? So you need to grow up, Chris, because we tired of dealing with you and giving you multiple chances, okay? I didn't cut you off. So I haven't worn eyeliner in a while. I think I'm going to whip it out today. I'm just using the $1 e.l.f. eyeliner. Um, I do have the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner and shouts out to my girl Rihanna because I really love her and I love her makeup but this liquid eyeliner ain't it. Not for me. It's, I don't know, I like more of a brush like this is an actual bristle brush and this one is a felt tip and I just can't get my wings exact sharp with this but the rest of our products are great. But shouts out to my good sis. Beyonce okay Beyonce knows when to come through she sees all that us black girls have to intake from the media and just from everyday people in general trying to just down us make us feel bad because we were born this way and I love my black skin okay in the midst of all this controversy with colorism what does she do drops brown skin girl hey! which is the song if y'all didn't know and I'm here for it. I'm so happy that she did that. Just because it's like shot. Because you know Beyonce got tons of followers. Tons of fans. Millions. So for her to use her platform to give us a sense of, not hope, but just make us feel better. You know? Not saying we out here feeling bad. But after a while that stuff does start to take a toll on you. Dang. Always oh, criticizing us. So for someone of her stature to come up and boom. Put out that song. Hey, we out here back when it up 10 points. Y'all, I totally forgot. I ain't even put on my um concealer yet. Mm. So first I'm gonna go in with um I really don't wear foundation beyond the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Um it's actually a foundation and a concealer, two in one. So I don't like wearing foundation at all just because I need my skin to be out here in these streets and breathe. And I've touched my face too much, but I will take, and also what I like about it, it comes with this, like it comes out like that. So I love this. So literally I just take a little bit on like some of the dark area, like right here I got some, you know what I'm saying, some little dark spots from just some previous acne. Not too much, literally not too much. A little bit over here, a little bit over here. Yeah, yeah. Gee, what's that? I actually see it's really good. Okay. Yeah, so take a little bit, 
And it matches my skin tone so great. You can't even tell I just put those dabs on. But yeah, back to Beyonce. So I'm here for the brown skin girl, that whole thing. My only concern or frustration with it is that I feel like how do I say this like of course us girls who really are brown skin we have been in you know been on that movement you know but I feel like now because of the song is so popular now it's like a trend to put on your Instagram caption brown skin girl y'all ain't been saying that like all these other girls like no offense the girls who on the light side and this is not I you might say this is me contradicting myself because I just got done talking about colorism but y'all do it to us so I'm gonna do it to y'all so lighter girls of lighter complexions like light skin girls love saying yellow bone light team light skin light skin and we whatever 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 or they might not say it but they know it's they know it's there okay they know they know I see the look on their face so now y'all want to get your little tans while you're on vacation in Turks and Caicos and all that. And now you want to um, put under your Instagram post and on Snapchat and all that. Brown skin girl. Girl, get out of my face. Uh-uh. Because you ain't been saying that. No. Now that it's trendy and the Queen Bee then told us we need to embrace who we are and we beautiful. Now you want to be on the train. I think not. Mm -mm. You're not welcome. I'm just joking. <laughs> But no, I don't think that's right. I don't like that. That's fake. That's cap. Capping. I don't like that. You cap it in your captions. I'm really over here dabbing this. Like, I just put on a whole big old thing of foundation. I put literally three dots on my face. But I hate looking makeup y. I just like to look naturally pretty or naturally cute. You know what I'm saying? Now, which is actually my favorite part, for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's time for concealing under my eyes. So I always use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee, because it's my favorite. And sometimes I blend a little, just a dab of the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Caramel and put that um, with it sometimes. So I just wet my beauty blender. This is the Diamond Sponge by Real Techniques. And I really like it, it's really soft. So if anybody light skin is watching this, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to bring up issues within the black community, which are already there. I mean, that's not what I'm doing. I just don't like the fake stuff. A lot of girls, Instagram, Instagram beauties or Instagram models or whatever, like they haven't been saying that brown skin girl y'all ain't been trying to be on our jump on our team you know but now that it's a trend and the queen has addressed it now you want to be down stay in your VIP section with Chris Brown we're gonna be over here partying with Beyonce So yeah guys, I just had to get that off of my chest because it was bothering me. Like, I don't think artists or not saying it's celebrities jobs to control how we feel, but they are a big influence on us, period. Especially with the whole mega sensation of social media. Like, you know, we are a part of y'all's lives. Y'all are a part of our lives, I'll say that. The entertainers and celebrities. And I think yeah a lot of stuff you know okay whatever whatever just roll it off the shoulder no one cares but eventually dang that start that stuff start to like god dang can y'all give us a break it starts to mess with you a little bit like sheesh and then i'm 23 and you know i can deal with a lot but imagine like the younger younger girls like 15 13 that's when you are really like kind of learning yourself and trying to embrace who you are or you start to start to develop insecurities and all that kinds of stuff so imagine hearing all this stuff and you're a 13 year old girl of a darker skin complexion come on now y'all need to really watch what you're saying even if you do feel this way you ain't got to put it out there put it in a song tweet about it Nobody even really cares what Lil Duval is saying anyways, to be honest. Ain't nobody checking for him, period. 
so I just thought it was kind of messed up what he said. Now I'm going to take the NARS radiant concealer just a little bit and put it like in the inner parts just for that extra brightness. So literally right here. Sometimes let me put a little right here just because we don't want that shadow. The positive part of social media, it allows us to see all different, all types of beauty worldwide, you know, not just in America or whatever. We get to see beauty from all over, all types of different, all different shades, all different tones, all different undertones. So, you know, YouTube as well, there are tons of beauty, um, beauty vloggers, you know, multiple complexions. So we don't have just that one ideal example to look at, which was the initial problem here in America. I just got these, it's not bags, but I have two lines right here that I literally was born with. And they annoy me sometimes. Woo. I'm gonna blend this out. I'm gonna come back probably uh, when I have on eyelashes. I mean, eyeliner, maybe eyelashes, just because this video is already at 27 minutes. So I'll be black. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm pretty much done. I just um, kind of bronzed or contoured a little bit just to add some more dimension into my face. Now I'm gonna take from this Anastasia Subculture Palette, um, kind of like this shimmery color, and put it in my inner what is this called inner inner eye inner tear duct yeah and I am done now um yeah like I said before with all my views on colorism and all that kind of stuff in our community it's just my opinion but mainly the truth and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you enjoyed my content then you might as well hit that subscribe button too okay i'll see you guys in my next video bye